Hey, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video, we're going to solve an equation that contains fractions. This is example number three on the website, and it's 3x plus 3 halves times the quantity 2x minus 1 equals 2. So when you first take a look at this equation, you probably say to yourself, oh no, I have a fraction. And if I distribute this fraction throughout the parentheses, I'm going to end up with more fractions. Therefore, I don't want to distribute first, which is normally what I would do if I were solving an equation. However, if you see a fraction, the very first thing that you want to do is you want to get rid of the fraction. Now, because this particular equation only has one fraction, it's pretty easy. We're going to take a look at the denominator, which is 2. And if we multiply every single term by 2, we can eliminate the fraction. Now, I have the terms color-coded, so 3x is one term, separated by the plus sign. 3 halves times the quantity 2x minus 1 is the second term, and then separated by the equal sign is our answer, which is our third term. Now, the minus sign in the parentheses does not count because it's in parentheses. So we have three terms, the 3x, 3 halves times 2x minus 1, and then our 2. And every single one of these terms, we need to multiply by 2. So I'm going to separate them and show that I'm multiplying every single term by 2. And if I do this, I can get rid of that fraction, which will make this a much more simple problem to solve. So 2 times 3x is 6x. Now remember when I'm working with the parentheses here, I only multiply the 2 times the 3 halves. I'll distribute once I get rid of the fraction. So since I have a 2 in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator, they simplify to 1 and I'm left with 1 times 3, which is just 3. So I'm left with 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1. And then on the right hand side of the equation, 2 times 2 is 4. So I've been able to eliminate the fraction and now I'm down to a pretty simple equation. I know that my next step is to distribute since I have parentheses. So I'm going to bring down the 6x and I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 3 throughout the parentheses. So 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and that's going to equal 4. Now I have no parentheses, so I can go ahead and combine like terms. So 6x plus 6x is 12x, and then I have minus 3 equals 4. And now I'm down to a two-step equation. Now I can begin solving for x. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring down the left-hand side, and I know that I have to get rid of the 3 first because it's the constant in the equation. And it's minus 3, so the opposite is to add 3. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equation to keep the equation balanced. So now I know that negative 3 plus 3 is 0. That's how I've gotten rid of the 3 there. So now I'm left with 12x equals 4 plus 3 is 7. And now I need to divide because 12 times x, the opposite of multiply, is divide. And I'm going to divide by 12. And when I do that, I end up with x equals 7 twelfths. And I have to ask myself, can I simplify that answer? And the answer is no. So my answer is going to be x equals 7 twelfths. Okay, so again, you want to get rid of your fractions, and then you can continue to solve just as you would using all those skills that you've already learned. Okay, great job.